So in today's video, we are going to talk about a young phenom that nobody is really talking about. And I don't know why, because it's crazy. This kid's already dominating the Arca series circuit, and he's only made four career starts. Everyone, meet Chandler Smith. He is only 15 years old and just won his first career Arca series race at Madison Speedway last weekend. I gotta be honest, I had no idea who Chandler Smith was, but when I turned on the Nashville race this season, I ended up seeing this. But earlier today, a big surprise to a lot of different people. Chandler Smith, we mentioned him, 15 years old. He's been running late models since he was 12. He won the General Tire Pole Award here in his first attempt at the ARCA Racing Series. So my first reaction was, who is this? <laughs> like, who is he? He ends up getting the pole in his first career start at 15? That is crazy. So then I'm like, okay, well, let's see how he does in the race. And in his first career start, he ends up getting a top five finish. That's impressive. So I did some research after the race on this kid, and I found out that this kid has been dominating in racing since he was four years old. So Chandler Smith began his career at only the age of four, starting in carts, then moving up to quarter midgets, pro late models, and then super late models. During his young career, Smith has earned nine national championships. Between 2007 and 2011, Smith competed nationally in quarter midgets, winning the 2010 QMA Junior Stock National and Eastern Grands Championship and the USAC Junior. Then, in 2012 to 2014, he became a three-time Atlanta Motor Speedway Bandolero Champion, as well as the 2014 Charlotte Motor Speedway Summer Shootout Bandolero Champion. Then lastly, from 2015 to 2017, he would compete in the past Pro Late Model Racing Series, earning his first career win at South Carolina's Anderson Motor Speedway. He would continue where he earned numerous top five finishes. In addition, he would also make headlines by competing in last year's inaugural Short Track US Nationals at Bristol motor speedway where he won one of the heat races so basically this kid can pretty much hop into anything and pretty much win championships with them and it seemed venturini motorsports took notice because later in december they would sign him to a part-time deal for the 2018 season since arca reduced the series age requirement in 2014 smith now became the sixth 15 year old driver to join vms's toyota back development team which also included the likes of other notable up-and-comers such as Ty Gillen and Kyle Benjamin. So after looking up all this info, I made sure to keep my eye out for this kid in the future. But I mean, how can I miss him? Because literally, <laughs> literally the next race at Salem, he would score the pole in only a second career start. Not only that, he would compete for the win in the final laps. Now he ended up finishing 10th, uh, but it should have been a second place run, but he ended up finishing 10th because of a blown tire. He would follow up that impressive run with another impressive run at Toledo, scoring his third career pole and only his third career start, leading 97 laps, but once again was snake bitten out of his first career Arca Series win with a fourth place finish. In his fourth career start at Madison Speedway, he would get the pole once again. He would dominate early in the race, but experience some tire issues in the beginning. Then later, with a right around 80 laps to go, he would fight through the field and pass points leader Zane Smith for the lead and wouldn't look back. And as they say, getting a race win in the Arca Racing Series is hard to come by. Ben 3D Motorsports has three victories since 2011 here at this racetrack, including one by Alex Bowman, who's racing on Sundays in the NASCAR Cup Series. This is exactly where Chandler Smith wants to be. He's been noticed by Toyota Racing Development as a driver they want to place in places he can run well. Venture New Motorsports is a development team with Toyota ties. So is MDM Motorsports. This is a great opportunity to showcase on live MAV TV what this young man can do with one lap to go, Bob. One lap to go for Chandler Smith, the driver from Georgia. In his fourth start in the Arca Racing Series presented by Bernards, looks like he's going to go to victory lane. It's been smooth sailing for the last half of this race, just 15 years old, and now a winner in the Arca Racing Series is Chandler Smith. He gets it done here at Madison. Kevin Reed and that Venturini Motorsports team, very happy on pit road. Great run by that team. A lot of adversity with those loose lug nuts. I don't think getting the extra tires are the difference maker here. I think this kid drove to the field, did a great job, knew he could race and trust this car on older tires. That was the winning strategy. Well, I tell you what, a lot of excitement getting ready to happen as Chandler's getting out of the car right now and his first win. We got potato chips, we got water, we got soda, we got a little bit of everything. You talk about a dominant performance. But... <laughs> All right, big guy, four poles, and you, you got it done tonight. Man, that was tires came loose. Tell us all about the race. 
Uh, you know, it's just uh, it was up and down there. I just like we all stayed calm, did our part. We got back to the front, star dominating this thing. Uh, can't thank these guys enough for all the effort they put. Can't thank Craftsman enough, Toyota Race, and Venturini Motorsports. They put a heck of a hot rod tonight. So, so tell me, everybody in the garage area wants to know, you, you're just fast. Well, so what are you doing different than a lot of other drivers? Uh, I don't know. Well, let's figure it out one day. <laughs> well, Bob, he, he's ex <laughs> Well, between Billy Venturi hopped in here, team owner. So the booth upstairs wants to know what the win means to you right now. It means a lot. It's finally got the monkey off my back. <laughs> monkey off the back, four races. <laughs> yeah, four poles, four, you know, and one win. So, so his ARCA series stats so far are this. One win, three top fives, four top tens, an average finish of fifth place, and only one DNF. And that was for the Salem race, where he still ended up getting a top ten finish. This kid clearly has a lot of talent and a ton of potential for the future. But I see this going two ways. On one hand, we have a potential Joey Logano. On the other hand, we might have a, have a potential Casey Atwood here. I mean, you never know with these young drivers. So Chandler Smith's Twitter is in the description below. So let's get him to see this video, just like Natalie Decker saw mine about her. And Chandler, if you end up watching this, bro, just know I'm supporting you 100%. And good luck to you, man. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.